Now this graph has O is the origin of this graph and this is the y-axis also called price axis and this is the x-axis and also called quantity axis. Now the, the curve let's say A and B, A, B, C, D. If the curve A, B, C, D is gives the relationship. So A, B, C, D curve gives the relationship between price and quantity demanded. This assumes that the price of related goods, income, both current and future, tastes and preferences remains constant. Okay. The curve ABCD gives the relationship between P and Q assuming that Px, Py, Yt are constant. Now let us consider two points on this curve B and C. So between B and C the price changes and the quantity changes and this is the delta price and this is the delta Q. So delta P by delta Q is the slope of this curve right? and this indicates the unit change in quantity for a given change in price. Now the slope of this curve is positive or negative could be ascertained by some generic relationship with this price. Let's say if this curve happened to be a curve like this, then the slope is positive. Okay. If the curve happens to be like this, what we are seeing, then the slope is negative. If the curve is flat, then the slope is zero. If the curve is vertical to the y-axis, then the slope is infinite. So these are four broad directions of the slope. So we safely can ascertain that this is of this shape therefore the slope is negative slope so this slope is negative slope now therefore we say the price and quantity are inversely related because it is negative slope price and quantity is inversely related or price and quantity are inversely related and therefore the slope is negative. Now two other points on this graph if you go gently across one is A another is D. Now A is the point in which the curve cuts across y axis and at this point this is the maximum price point. This product cannot be sold for any price beyond this because for any price beyond this the demand is going to be Q is going to be zero here 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 and this point is the D is where the curve cuts across the x-axis and this is a point of maximum Q and beyond this point the, there is no demand for this at this point, in fact, this is considered as free good 